guys, welcome back to another episode of Remy's Playhouse. And as we know, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the first four-figure statue, it's an amazing statue by the way, but this released, I think like two years ago or so, it's such a marvelous looking statue. I really like this version of Link, just his blue tunic and everything, it's a great statue, so you definitely check it out. If you can find it, you probably have to find it used because they don't have these, um, uh, they're not available brand new anymore, so, but if you do find it out, Pick it up. And it's one of a kind because it's the only statue that's in the PVC. It's a good price, under $100. But there's none of the other champions. We don't have Zelda or anything until now. So I was browsing through Facebook. I don't know who uses Facebook anymore. But I was browsing through the First Four Figures Official Collectors Club. And, you know, I'm a part of the club on Facebook. Where they always talk about all the new statues that are upcoming and that they are releasing. Most of them are in resin, which is really expensive. But one of the PVC one, it's, it's great. They look amazing and they're really affordable. But we've all been asking for a Breath of the Wild Zelda statue to go along with our Breath of the Wild Link statue. And I just came across this message here from Bang H. Lee. He says, Breath of the Wild Link and Zelda with light up features and he posted some pictures here. So I believe that this is in the official Nintendo Store of America in New York City. I'm almost certain that is. So here we have, you have your Link and we have a Zelda. So I came across this like, wait a minute, is this new? Is Have they even announced this yet? So I'm not too sure if first four figures officially announced it, but we do have this. Here we have Link, so we're getting a new version or a re-release of Link. And, but most importantly here, we have Zelda. Look how amazing she looks. Right up close, up close and personal. She looks beautiful. I really like her, just her design of the Breath of the Wild Zelda. Everything about it, her hair, her facial features, her big eyes, and the blue tunic. I'm a big fan of the blue tunic. So here we have Zelda, and then here we have Link. And I'm wondering, well, why are they showing Link again? I thought, oh, well, just to showcase it, you know, so it's a matching pair. But if we keep going through here, we see something a little bit different, which is the base. Now, not only is the base wider, you know, thicker in the bottom here, but it also seems to glow. And you're thinking, well, wait a minute, in this post, he does say that it lights up. So, could it be that the base is going to light up and that they're re-releasing Link as well as a new statue with a light up base? So, this is really cool. Then, if we click on over, there we have it. We have the actual base itself and it does light up. It looks identical to the Link version that we already have that was released before, except now it actually lights up and glows, which is like in the game how the Sheikah uh, shrines and everything, they always glow. So that's a neat feature right there. And then on the next picture here we have a close-up of Zelda's torso. Can really get a close-up of her tunic, all the fine details in her tunic. It looks like, what is right here? Is this her rapier or a dagger, I'm not too sure. Here she's holding the Sheikah Slate. But then if you look in the background, what's back here? Is this Luigi from Luigi's Mansion? Has that been released already? Has this been announced? Is all this stuff new? This is blowing my mind. I didn't even know about Zelda. When was this all announced? Then moving on to the next picture, here we see that Zelda's base, her base lights up and glows as well, so it looks really nice. Here we have a close-up detailed look of Zelda's hair, you can see her braid and just her long flowing locks. I really like the hair, it, just, it really looks really good, it matches her character quite well. Here... Is this kid friendly? She must work out. Now. Right here you can see, there's a base, it's glowing, and they're wondering, well, how's it gonna light up? Is it gonna be battery operated? You have to put double A's in it? But if you look real close in the bottom left corner of the picture, right where the base is, you can see there's a connector port there. I believe it would be USB-C or, or of some sort, I'm not too sure, some kind of, you know, power outage that you would actually plug in to your wall. And that is a connector so you can actually charge the statue. So you'll be able to plug it into your wall, charge it up, maybe through USB as well, that would be nice. You can plug it into your computer and then unplug it so it will just stand on its own without being plugged in and still glow. So that is nice. I'm wondering how long the battery will actually last. Uh, these are probably LEDs on the inside so presumably it would last quite a long time. The next picture, okay we're back to the beginning. Here we have a close up of the Link. So this is really cool. I do like this that they're re-releasing Link and that they have this new awesome figure, this new statue for Zelda. Now I can have a matching pair. So are you, if you have Link already, are you going to rebuy Link as well with the Zelda? Um, I probably will because I like the light up feature. I'm not mad that, that they're releasing a better version of it. You know, I really love my statue, 
but I'll probably jump back in and get the matching set, especially if they sell it as a two-pack. That would be really nice. Sorry, my chair is awfully squeaky. Jeez, I need a new chair. Okay, next up, I wanted to quickly just talk about Zelda Universe. Go over to their Twitter page, Zelda Universe. They have a lot of awesome content, everything Zelda. Also, Zelda GIF World, I believe they're the same person or just group, and they, they, they tweet about everything Zelda. But today, if you have noticed on the trending page of Twitter, well, Zelda, particularly Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, have all been on the trending page and you can thank Zelda Universe for that. Because of this tweet that they put out, what are your top three Legend of Zelda games? And because of this, it just blew up. A storm of Zelda comments and tweets have gone out. You know, everyone's stating what their favorite Zelda games are and it's really great to see. I'm really excited that, you know, Zelda's getting all this love, all this passion for it. And it's, you know, it's trending, so that's a good thing. So Check out their tweet, go over and post your favorite Zelda games. Let's keep this uh, trend going, let's keep the cycle alive. And it was trending so much that even Twitter Moments retweeted his tweet. So they said, in the decades since The Legend of Zelda came out for the original NES, Link has been on a number of different adventures. Thanks to Zelda Universe, gamers are sharing their favorite Zelda games of all time. So I got a retweet from Twitter Moments, and everyone's retweeted, I myself have retweeted it. So go ahead and retweet it yourself, leave a comment, and look at this, even Zelda Universe retweeted my comment. The sacred one themselves have retweeted my comment. I feel blessed. Hashtag blessed. But here I said my favorite Zelda games. Breath of the Wild, number one. Wind Waker, number two. And Ocarina of Time is my number three Zelda game. Breath of the Wild, of course, because I put over 500 hours into that game. It's just a masterpiece, in my opinion. Wind Waker, oh my goodness, I love that game for the story. The story alone is amazing. And particularly uh, Link and Tetra. I love those characters together. They're so amazing. And they're so expressive. They have a lot of emotions in their face. And Ocarina of Time, that was the first Zelda game. Not the first Zelda game that I played, but the first Zelda game that I actually officially beat all on my own. I was 12 years old when that game released. And yes, I've played A Link to the Past. I've played the original Zelda on the NES. And I've even played Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. But I never actually beat them as a kid. I was really young when they released. However, Ocarina of Time, I did officially beat my number one Zelda game that I first beat. So it will forever remain in my top three games. But really, I love every Zelda game, even the unsung hero Zelda games, such as Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, which I said, and also even Link's Crossbow Training. It's an underrated game. And what about the Tingle games, you may ask? Well, I love those games too. So that's it for today. I just wanted to come on real quick and just talk about the things that are in the Zelda universe, in the news, in the right now and then. Does that make any sense? Now and then? In the here and now. So we do have a official uh, Zelda first four figure statue coming. I'm not sure if it's officially announced, but it is out there. It is in the Nintendo Store of America. So when it is officially announced and pre-orders are up for sale, I'm definitely going to jump on that ASAP. So if you find out any information on it, please let me know. Comment down below or just follow me on Twitter and, and, and let me know through there because I am really active on Twitter. And let's keep the Zelda train and let's keep the Zelda trending that's a tongue twister. And let's keep the Zelda trending train keep going. Go ahead and get on Twitter and retweet Zelda's universe tweet. Go ahead and leave some comments. Let us know what your favorite Zelda games are. So, thanks for joining us today for an episode of Rumi's Playhouse. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter. And we'll see you again for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye. Uh